You, there's a free fall. There's uh, there's cotton yeah. candy. Cotton candy everywhere. That's it's, what you get. And it grows on trees yeah. there. The cotton candy trees. It's just free. Hi. Hi. You're watching Two Dumb Guys. I'm Brian. This is Ed. Uh, today, we're going to be talking a little bit about towns in the U.S. Okay. Town, cities, census de designated places, unincorporated communities, things like that. That have uh, not unincorporated communities. That's the worst. <laughs> that, that have uh, weird or, or strange or silly names. Uh, like everybody knows, there's a Hell, Michigan, and there's a there's a place called Heaven, and there's another place that's Purgatory. I believe that's in Washington. I'm not sure. I'll go into all of these. Yeah, we need to we need to go to all these. This is actually really what you should be considering. Like this is your your trip planning. <laughs> this is yeah. This is your summer road trip right here. All right, we're going to start with a city in or a uh, town in Oregon called uh, Boring. Boring, Oregon. Boring, Oregon. Is it? it I it, think it's exciting it, for it, real. I don't think it sounds exciting. <laughs> I think it's an ironic name. It's like what the Vikings did with Iceland. Now they have two sister cities. Sister cities. Dull, Perth, uh, Perthshire, Scotland, and Bland, New South Wales, Australia. Dude, so this is just trickery all around. <laughs> boring, dull, and bland are 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 this group. They're full of it. Get, move there, trust me. They they refer to themselves as the League of Extraordinary Communities <laughs> <laughs> because they know they know. It sounds like a bad Sean. Conference. They've got like a like 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 a super hyper coaster. Yeah, at every one of these places, it's the yeah. most fun you'll ever have. You, there's a free fall. There's uh, there's cotton yeah. can, cotton candy everywhere. That's what you get. And it grows on trees yeah. there. The cotton candy trees. It's just free. All kind of flowers everywhere. Ar nice architecture. No, it's it's all. It's there's not much. Only happening. attractive people. The League of Extraordinary Communities. They're also trying. Uh, there's talk. They're talking about trying to get ordinary Kentucky involved as well. <laughs> That one might be true. Uh, I think they should also uh, consider going after OK Oklahoma. <laughs> is it not just OK as in Oklahoma, but OK, OK A Y, OK. Oh, Oklahoma. OK. That's an actual oh, town okay. in Oklahoma. OK, comma OK. OK, yeah, exactly. You'd be writing a letter. I'm in OK Oklahoma. Yeah, I'm in OK OK. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna write. I'm gonna go to all these places and write letters. Put them in the mail. Right, two dumb guys on it. It'll get here. Yeah. It'll get here. It, it'll, it, mail finds a way. They'll find us. It's like I mean, life. Yeah, it just it happens. <laughs> There's no organization. There's no system. No, let me... the, the post office is just chaos. Yeah. Stuff gets where it's going. Now, let me ask you a question. Okay. What is a booger hole? Well, I mean, the obvious joke is he knows. Yeah. Well, it's um, actually an unincorporated community in West Virginia. Where, where else but West Virginia? Booger Hole, West Virginia? Yep. Oh, uh, man, I wonder if I drove through there. No one's really sure how it got that name. There was uh, some event that happened. Supposedly, it's like uh, a play on Booger is a play on, like, Boogeyman. Yeah. And it supposedly re references this um, series that there were about a dozen murders there. Okay. Uh, probably about 100 years back. But it was actually already called Booger Hole before that happened. <laughs> so that story. So yes. you're lying. Yeah. Um, and, and no offense, you know, to West Virginia or to West Virginians by, you know, their presence there. Maybe that should be the state name. Booger Hole? Booger Hole. I'd love, like, honestly, I, I have no interest in going to West Virginia. If I'd were, go to Booger Hole. Yeah. If the state were called Booger Hole, I'd be there now. I'd be in it. <laughs> yeah, we. You'd be in the mix. I'd be looking at booger hole real estate. So get your get your lobbyists on that. Yeah, change yeah. the name. Yeah, B make sure he puts in his good teeth. <laughs> I, I want the, I want the you know no man I want your senators involved because <laughs> I, I want I want you know like chair recognizes the gentleman from booger hole. Yeah. <laughs> I want that to be in the record of Congress. The phrase chair recognizes the gentleman from booger hole. Yeah. So I want to be able to go to the Library of Congress and flip through a book uh, yeah, and archives. find that phrase. <laughs> yeah, that's what's happening. Now, uh, one of them that is uh, near and dear to our ha hearts for uh, <laughs> reasons that may or may not be clear in the future Yep, is 
Toad Suck, Arkansas. Not Toe Suck. That'd be cool. <laughs> uh, but Toad Suck. I like that Toe Suck is cool. Yeah, toe Suck's cooler. Is it, though? I mean, have you ever sucked toes? No, I'm not a toe sucker. I have. It's awesome. So shut up. <laughs> uh, so you don't you don't get a you don't get an opinion on that. This is your steez. <laughs> toe sucking steez. There are uh, two different theories as to the origin of this name. One okay. uh, suggested that uh, it was like rivermen who would be going to bars late at night when nothing was going on, and they would suck suck the bottles till their faces swelled up like toads. Okay. Uh, the other is that it's some sort of corruption of like a, a French phrase, meaning uh, a narrow river channel. No, that's not good. I, that's no good. I like the first one, but we can do better. I it's like people the, licking frogs, man. I, that's what I think. <laughs> that's what it is. Frog Somebody <laughs> heard that a frog will get you f up if you yeah. lick it, and they just went to the extreme with it. Yeah. <laughs> like, they made t-shirts, and they're like, no, but let's just name the town. <laughs> it was back. me. I made a t-shirt. I'm like, what are we doing tonight, Bob? We're sucking toads. They have a fact. Why? <laughs> Said to get you high, son. <laughs> Why do we sound alike? Because it's the same dude doing the voice. They uh, There was a, a poll, a global poll back in 2012, where it was voted America's uh, most embarrassing or unfortunate town name. And it beat out both uh, Boring, Oregon, and Climax, Georgia. Is it Climax, Georgia? Yes. It should be noted that... Where is it? In the state of Georgia, we have both a Climax and Cumming. C-U-M-I-N-G. <laughs> yes, both of those in the state. Climax, it's, it's like at the highest point of certain railroad, hence the name Climax. But obviously, you know... You, <laughs> and, and you chose that to go with. Yeah. They chose to go with Climax. Not there's, Apex. There's Apex. There's yeah. Zenith. Yeah, Zenith. There's uh, Summit. Summit, yeah. Top of the mountain would have been better. No, you went with climax. <laughs> Top of the mountain. You know, let's, let's do climax. It sounds better. Now there are two separate towns in Vermont and Massachusetts. One okay. in, uh, the one in Massachusetts is near the Vermont border, but the one in Vermont is farther away from this border. So it's two separate places All right. that are both called Satan's Kingdom. <laughs> do they read Anne Rand? I, I don't know. There's some evil <laughs> happening up north, apparently. <laughs> It's godless country, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> I don't know. We're from, we're from roughly the Bible Belt, yeah. So anything like you know naming like a, 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 a like using the word devils or demons as part of like a name of a, a sporting team at a school like a mascot that always seemed like at least to me when I was a kid that seems like oh wow they're like playing with fire there just because the Dude, way I was raised that is playing with fire. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't know if you remember this. But when I worked at the Winder store, we had to change our phone number. Yeah. Because the phone number that the phone company gave us ended with 0666. Yeah. And the store had no business. Nobody would call it. Really? And they changed it and they made line two be the main line that people call in on. So when the phone's ring, it's always come on line two. It really sucks if you're working in a pizza place because you think it's a telemarketer because it's ringing in on line two instead of line one. Yeah. Yeah. And then I, I, I had customers tell me, I wouldn't have called y'all if y'all hadn't changed your phone number. We had to reprint car toppers and everything. Here's a fun one. Okay. Slick Poo, Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> that one makes me happy because I, I just, just because saying it, it makes me happy. <laughs> it, makes, it, it upsets me because it reminds me of some slick poos that I had. Yeah. Or that's a dumb that you joke. maybe had stepped in. See, I think that's, that's a better joke. <laughs> See, I'm going with like make my referencing my own bowel movements. <laughs> See, that's it's, I, what I think happened is that like literally there was just like wildlife or like there the animals out there maybe they had eaten something so everything there was just slick animal feces everywhere. There were problems with the cisterns or something. I don't know. Um, so maybe it was human. But it's just somebody, people get falling down. It's yeah. like, man, that's some slick poo. <laughs> Again, I don't know how people's from Idaho sound, so everybody's just going to sound like from, they're from a different part of Georgia. Uh, <laughs> man, that was some slick poo out there. It was. <laughs> well, maybe we should grow the potatoes with it. <laughs> I'll tell you uh, what, it'd be good good nutrients for them potatoes. <laughs> and that'd be good for me. Did you know that you get all the nutritional value that you need for the day from a potato if you just add a little butter or cheese to it? You don't get no vitamin D. 
you get some of everything. Yeah, but you, you don't get, get it the all right of amounts. It. You don't get you don't get the right. Look amount. here, you get it all. No, you don't. It's it's. I can no, live on potatoes alone. You can, but you're getting too much of some things and not enough of other things. You're gonna have a ba- imbalance. <laughs> Scoliosis. Yeah, I mean the the Irish. I think for stretches of history, pretty much did live on potatoes, didn't they? I mean, I think so I don't know. Isn't that what the whole thing was? Uh, because when there was the potato famine, they were f- facts. All of these facts, facts. <laughs> unverified <laughs> facts, and possibly inaccurate, but not facts, true facts. <laughs> not true, but they are <laughs> facts. You might think that this is fake news. Yeah, it's not. These it's are just, real facts. These are real <laughs> fake facts that we're it, spitting at you. They're just inaccurate and unverified. <laughs> yes. But now technically this this small village, Slick Poo, Idaho, uh, there was a Catholic mission there and the land was gifted to them by a guy named Josiah Slick Poo. Duh. So, yeah, there's a, like, like I, I still want to go with my story that there was an animal feces problem. Yep. I think that's better. See, I think that's the history you want. Uh, here's one more. Uh, well, actually, a couple more, but um, here's one. Okay. I'm going to spell this out. Okay. Just to, just to help. H-U-M-P-T-U-L-I-P-S. In Washington. Hump tulips. Now, <laughs> <laughs> now, even if we leave out the pun aspect of tulips as tulips, it's funny. And humping. Like hump Tulips, like hump flower <laughs> it's, it's blowies, man. That's what but, we're going but, at. But then, yeah, Blowyville. When you when you turn it into the pun on two lips, it's hump two lips, and it actually it doesn't even have to be a blowy. beach town. Yeah, it doesn't have to be that because it could be it, it could be the other lips. It doesn't matter which lips. <laughs> hump two lips is funny. <laughs> Any lips. <laughs> Any lips. as long as the lips consent. Yeah, as long as consent. Hump them right. lips. Hump them lips. <laughs> Getting down to the last one, there's these two towns. Okay. Uh, kind of in the same vein as the last one we were talking about. Okay. Uh, now, technically, the second one's really just technically a neighborhood, but it's like a designated area, so it's recognized, not just not just like saying uptown or downtown. It's like a recognized thing, kind of like okay. a normal town in Athens. Yeah. Um, but it has a more defined area. Now, I believe that these should be sister cities, like boring, dull, and bland, okay. have everything going on. Um, the first one is in North Carolina, and the second one is in Washington. They are Moorhead and Till I Come. That's rad. It is awesome. And it, you know what? It may be Tillicum, and not, but it's T-I-L-L-I-C-U-M. Tillicum. So it's probably Tillicum, but I'm sure like 90% of the people oh, would, no. would just say Till I Come. So Moorhead and Till I Come. <laughs> Y'all need to get y'all need to get your like your your representatives together and get something going. Get I together. See, I just want to see statues that just say more head till I come. Yeah. The official <laughs> statue t shirts. T shirts. T shirts. We'll we'll make the t shirts. We just want to cut. Got one. You, you got one? It Shoot. fits into this. Alright, what is it? It's a little town south of Huntsville, Alabama. It is spelled A R A B. That word is Arab. Yeah. Not to them. What is it? Arab. Arab. And I thought it was just like mad racist. Yeah, but, but apparently uh, the founder named his son Arad or Arad or something, which is a biblical character, but they misspelled it on the town charter. Ah, uh, okay. So they just ran with it. They owned it. So uh, if you live in a stupid town name, don't leave just because of that. That might be ha- the best thing that you have going in your life at this point. Yeah. Remember that. Take that with you. And make t-shirts. Profit. Lots of t-shirts and postcards. Postcards. This way. Postcards. Waves of them. Two dumb guys. You know, if you just write two, the number two and DG, we'll probably still yeah, get that. Yeah, we'll probably get that. Thanks for watching. Seriously, the battery's going to die. Yeah. Look at all them links. Click them. Click, 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 click.